Welcome to Kansas Youth Bass's YouTube channel where we'll do anything from tournament weigh-ins to product reviews to unboxings to camper hacks, boat hacks, anything to do with the great outdoors and our youth program we will do. We'll make baits, we'll test products in the water, we'll go fishing. Thanks for tuning in to our channel. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode. In this episode, we're going to cover why your camper heater might not work. This happened in our 2019 Jayco 26BH at our last fishing trip. Stay tuned and I'll walk you through how I fixed it and why this might come in handy at your next fishing trip or hunting trip. Okay, so I have a 2019 uh, Jayco 26BH. I'm sure it's the same for the 264BHs and the heat quit working. The fan would kick on and it would just never ignite. So I've watched a few YouTube videos um, and everybody said to replace the sail switch. What nobody talked about on any of the YouTube videos is sometimes the sail switch just gets dirty. It's real easy to check there or take the sail switch out and and click it back and forth and make sure it's clicking on and off sometimes they just have a you know a little bit of lint a little bit of dog hair caught to them a little bit of dust click them back and forth a few times and then with an insulated screwdriver or something why it's out you can actually push on that to get it to engage that sail switch why it's actually out of the unit if you take these two screws out and then have your wife or somebody turn the heat on and make sure that it actually fires my sail switch wasn't bad it was just dirty so Unfortunately, it takes 10 minutes to 20 minutes worth of stuff removing stuff to be able to get to your furnace on these Jayco's because they don't have an outdoor uh, vent, but you just take off the four screws outside on the vent, which I'll show you here in just a second, pull a couple screws uh, to get, take your couch lid off, and then you've got um, a couple screws to take the little box and then, you know, twist your little vents off. So it's not real hard to get to. I mean, it's hard to get to. It's not real hard to uh, check or replace if it's bad. So the sale switch is right here. I just took these two screws out, cleaned it out, put it back in. Now I'm going to install the furnace and put it back where it goes. Okay, so two of the things you have to remove to get the furnace out is a screw there, a screw here. I'm actually putting the furnace back in, so I'm filming this in backwards order. So I just put those two screws back in. Next thing I'm going to do is put the, the ducts on. And then last but not least, I'm going to put the little set screw that holds the propane in place right here. I'm going to leave that undone until I get the ducts back on. So we're going to slide both of the duct works back in. One other thing that it can be is sometimes this, this reset right here trips. So you can also flip that reset and then back on after a few minutes to give it a second to reset. Sometimes that could cause it not to fire too, but that wasn't the case on mine. I actually had to get in there and check the sail switch. Before I hooked everything back up, I wanted to go ahead and do a quick test. Fan kicked on, sounds like it just ignited. Make sure it's blowing warm air. All right, so I got everything put back together. Put the screw back in the propane line, put both the ducts on, both of the set screws, and then I'll show you what you have to take off on the outside and put back on once you're done putting it all back together. But she's blowing hot. Nice and warm. We got heat again. Now it's time to uh, put back together the box. You can take the whole box out if you want. Um, I personally pop the staples. So that way I can just slide this back out real easy in the future um, to flip that switch. That way I don't have to take the whole couch out if that switch ever flips. I'm just going to put one screw back in and uh, be able to get to that switch pretty easy. Another thing you could do is take like a one inch hole saw and drill a hole right over there. I just don't have one with us here so for now I'll just leave this loose until I can drill that out. 
The only thing you got to remove uh, on the outside of the camper is these four screws and this vent just slides out. I've already put it back together, but once you slide that out, that makes it real easy for the furnace to come out from the inside once you have all the bolts and everything taken off. So that's how she works.